guys, today I am going to show you a simple and quick, easy, three ingredient DIY hair mask that you can do at home to get shinier and glossier hair. Hey, if you are new here and have no idea who I am, my name is V. I read an online article about Dr. Oz's research. He was actually trying to find out what type of food was the most repairing and conditioning to the hair. And this research found out that it was bananas. Crazy, right? That's because bananas contains potassium, vitamin B6, folate, and other properties that are great for your hair. Alright, the first thing you need to do is to extract the juice out of the bananas. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to blend your bananas in a blender. Or the second way, the way that I'm going to be using, is using a cheesecloth to squeeze out the juice from the bananas. I am using two bananas because my hair is long. If you have shorter hair, just use one banana. Make sure your banana is extremely ripe. You can see that mine are kind of brown and that's exactly how you want it to be. You absolutely do not want any banana chunks in this DIY because you're going to be applying the solution to your hair and especially if you have long hair like mine, if you have any banana chunks, it's going to be very difficult to remove that from your hair. So no chunks. Before moving on, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell symbol so YouTube will let you know when I come out with a new video. Whenever I release a brand new video, I stay in the comment section for the first hour that I release the video and chat with you guys. So I hope to be chatting with you next time. The second ingredient you will need is milk. Whole milk to be exact. You will need half a cup of milk. Add the whole milk in and stir. Milk is just full of proteins which makes your hair stronger as well as lactic acid which help whisk away old and dead skin cells. Those dead skin cells can cause your hair to go limp and lifeless. Ugh. We don't want that. We want our hair to be alive and cheerful. The next ingredient is a thumbs up. <laughs> Hit that like button right now and let me know that you like this video so I can make more videos more regularly so I can see your faces and you can see mine more often. Step three and it is also the last step in this DIY is to add in the honey and stir well. You will need two tablespoons of honey. Honey has rich antioxidant properties which will help prevent your hair from getting damaged and keeping your scalp healthy. Before applying this to your hair, make sure there are absolutely no banana chunks. Apply this to your dry hair, concentrating on the ends of your hair, and then work slowly up. Leave this hair mask on for 30 minutes. And what do you do in this 30 minutes? I suggest watching a V marathon, you know? Go ahead and watch all my videos during this 30 minutes. Not a promotion at all, you know? Just completely unbiased opinion. <laughs> After 30 minutes, go ahead and wash your hair off with shampoo and condition as usual. You want to use this banana hair mask at least once a week. You can actually use it up to three times a week because all the ingredients are natural. Continue using this hair mask for one month and you will see glossier, shinier hair. wonder if Gwen Stefani uses this recipe. Wouldn't that just be- As a rule, 
thumb if you are going to any special event. Do not try any new DIY routine or any new beauty products that you have never used before. It's because whenever you're trying something new, there are new ingredients that your body might be exposed to for the first time, or all of a sudden, you know, your body just reacts to certain things differently that it's never had before. Make sure to do it on a normal day, on a boring day that you have really nothing special planned. So if you do have any allergic reactions, it just won't ruin the special occasion. Now that you learn how to make a banana hair mask, you need to know how to wash your hair correctly. <laughs> or you can check out another video here from me and make sure to follow me on Instagram where I post more regularly and on all my social media like Facebook and Twitter. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!